Canadians, many people would say, are some of the nicest people out yeah. there, eh? <laughs> One of the most famous Canadians in the world <laughs> proved that recently. Yeah, when a drunk fan rushed the stage at a Celine Dion concert at Caesars Palace in Vegas, she didn't call her security team. No, they're on the stage, but she kind of waved them off and let the unruly woman have her moment in the spotlight. Celine, the queen, told the woman that they actually have something in common because they both have children and they were both wearing gold. Apparently her top underneath was gold there. And then told the crowd, some people go through a lot and some people need to talk. Now that's how you handle a tough situation with some class. And this woman didn't just get on the stage. We she actually like cut the part out. Sang. She like there, grabs there her. Yeah, there. she sings, she grabs her. She at one point like puts her leg around her. And Celine just, you know, calm as a cucumber, says, I'm good, don't worry. She's good for Celine. I think Celine's getting more fans by her reaction. Exactly. Right? Just makes her seem like a That's cool person. All right, Ed Sheeran, talking about people with lots of fans. His latest <laughs> hit perfect is all about finding the perfect woman, but it turns out that Sheeran's perfect match is a stock boy at a grocery store. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at Wesley Byrne. He looks almost identical to the famous yeah. redhead. This guy works at a supermarket and says he regularly has to deal with people asking for photos and autographs. All right, that's Ed Sheeran there now. There we okay, go. back to, to the <laughs> other guy, to Wesley. Now, his job, though, has banned him from taking any more selfies with fans at work. Yeah, he's probably not getting much done. Maybe you should look like, for another job as an impersonator. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Does he play the guitar, too? <laughs> it looks like it. All right, the royal wedding is just a few months away, and the planning, no doubt, in full force. And if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are still looking for some entertainment, well, look no further. Hey, guys. DJ at your wedding. DJ at your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's worth a shot, right? The royal couple made an appearance at the Represent Radio event yesterday to learn a bit more about the Youth Focus Creative programs at the station. And that's when a DJ and presenter there, Giovanni Letford, thought it'd be a great time, you know, to just hand Prince Harry his business card. Why not? Worth a shot. He, the prince smoothly put the card just into his jacket pocket, kept on walking, did crack a smile there. Something tells me the entertainment at the royal wedding will be more than just your typical party DJ. You know what's I funny about hope. this is that the DJ thought that the groom would have any say in who the DJ at the <laughs> wedding like, is. Uh, I'll hand it off I to mean, her. let's be honest. <laughs> we should have given the card to Meghan Markle. There you Duh. go.